they got so many cards they were you know hustling and bustling getting frustrated today it just seems to be a very cool and collected Asperius has a chance the angle was too narrow there Cedric well apart from this being narrow the ball you know is a lucky break it comes right through and Pinner is very well to close out the angle the ball bobs up comes up to him but this gets that ball behind the defender and look at Pinner Pinner's come in front he's bottled up the entire angle oh, it will be an Argentinian free hit Lucas Rossi now he has options only behind him Lopez putting that ball in is it a goal for Argentina yes it will be scored it will be Matthias Perides no it is actually the man who's got his 200th cap today Lucas Villa we spoke about defensive frailties and defensive capabilities England well just seemed to have switched off for a minute there not allowing them to play the ball to the other side Matthias Perides now he's got a chance it's on his backhand will he take it yes you bet he does he's got the second goal for Argentina the captain cool Matthias Perides and look at Carlos Retegui what a performance so far by Argentina with just under two minutes to go in the second quarter well that ball an aerial ball deflects off Middleton comes to Perides he cuts Liam Sansford goes down towards the baseline shows the hit and Pinner who's coming out is actually on his on his heels the ball goes through his pads and into the far corner Argentina two to the good here against England the tiger on the touchline Carlos Retegui lives every moment when his team plays does Carlos Retegui England coming up with a good response now Barry Middleton has put that ball in England have a chance and they've got a goal it is number 22 David Condon who has got a goal right back for England and what a quarter of hockey we are witnessing here well that ball is crashed inside the ball deflects off the free man a lucky bounce for Condon who turns spins and smashes the ball past Vivaldi Barry Middleton's ball deflects off you now we talked about Mark Legon who's had who's played in the hockey in the league so much uh, who's been a prolific scorer for for England also in the penalty corners but for me the question is not enough of of you know leadership qualities in this with a penalty stroke for Argentina for me that is quite simply the move of the tournament so far Cedric well the spin by Mazzilli playing the ball near the 20 literally uh, playing the ball to the left hand side attacks the space gets inside again another spin draws Pinner out Pinner takes him down and a penalty stroke if we could see the entirety of that move it was simply sensational it is Harry Gibson in goal Cedric for the British they've switched keepers again Hiladi to put Argentina two goals to the good again and you bet he does Argentina have back their two goal lead thanks to the most beautiful exquisite move of hockey you will see well the flick was really true and hard he sends Gibson the other way hard Giladi's flick right to the corner sight netting off the of the goal in the top right corner of the keeper side uh, stick side here comes the injection it is Mark Leghorn saved by Argentina Phil Roper with a chance on goal and it's given Argentina's way Juan Vivaldi punches the air well Glegon flicks that ball a good injection he flicks it Gilardi does very well on the on this palms the ball the resultant rebound comes straight to the English player but he fluffs it he misses it goes back to the top of the circle and from that resultant hit also David Condon wanted play on by Javed Sheikh. He'd already blown the whistle. Adam Dixon will get a circle entry now. And he's got it. I think it has been played into the goal by an Argentinian player. Well, he attacks the space and he goes down the baseline and he flicks the ball across the goal mouth. Rossi trying to deflect that ball inside out, drop that ball, deflect the ball off a stick into his own goal. Yeah, it is. Yes, unfortunately, it is Rossi. There it is. Argentina 3, England 2, third quarter final. Argentina wins this game.